Against the background of a challenging global trading environment, Union National Bank has produced a healthy set of results with consolidated profit up by more than 11%. What would you pick out as the financial highlights? The main reason behind these figures is that uh, UMB has um, a well-planned uh, and um, clearly understood strategy and uh, we have uh, good people to take care of this and uh, in the UAE I think we have a lot of uh, support from the uh, a stable economy up to better than others and uh, of course the support of the UAE government. So what's been the key to navigating a steady course in these uncertain times? The main reason I tell you to, to apply the principles of proper banking and uh, uh, to take care of the main principles of the, of the risk. Uh, yeah, don't, don't be dragged to unplanned and understood business. Uh, don't do business which you do not understand. Don't do business which you, you don't have uh, enough uh, uh, information uh, about it, try to go back and understand the previous experience because this helps a lot. Islamic financing is one of the standout features of these results with an increase in net interest income and net income. What explains the growth of Islamic financing in the region? No, the, actually the growth here that the people who wants to deal according to the Sharia principles, they found now uh, uh, certain financial institutions who are ready to give them this, uh, this uh, service. So it is a shift from the normal banking to the Islamic banking for those people who were waiting for that. So that is mainly the shift, it's not a new business, uh, uh, a new growth of the business. And in the same time, uh, uh, the Islamic fundamentals and the, the, the Islamic approach is increasing in the region as a whole. And uh, I think there is a lot of evidences now to, to show that. Of course, a central part of the bank's vision is to become a key player in the region, expanding on the strength of your base here in Abu Dhabi. What are your plans for that? Our focus mainly was here, locally. Then our future expansion was in the GCC because of a lot of similarities in the countries and uh, in the economies uh, there. And gradually we have started going there. We are in, in Qatar, we are in Kuwait. Uh, within a few days we'll open our branch in Kuwait. At the same time we are selective internationally. We, are, we, we select Egypt as a, a big market and acquire a bank there. And uh, we select to go to China. Uh, we are the first bank and the only bank has a RIP office in China. And we may expand our business, uh, could be to uh, branch banking in China. Looking to the year ahead, what's your strategy to keep delivering on the success of these results? Our main strategy here is to uh, um, keep an eye on uh, what we learned from those difficult days and uh, uh, in the same time to focus and support on our good customers and uh, to uh, insist on diversifying the business in a proper way. And uh, we, we want still to focus on the UAE and uh, the region uh, uh, in their business and they have a lot of potentials. You are here in, in Abu Dhabi, they announced uh, approved projects uh, this year and for the next uh, few years for 670 billion dirhams. And we believe that this will make uh, the economy better. And uh, in the region also, if you talk about Qatar, they have their own plans. Uh, oil prices uh, uh, is encouraging. Uh, so we believe that we have a good future. Mohammed Nasser Abdin, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.